Hello. Abigail. Abigail. Sir. Were you in class last? Please, yes. Okay, actually, um, last week <clears throat> we did. Were you in class last week? Pardon? Or no? Hello, yeah. sir. Yeah, Abigail. Sir. Okay, so it was all about um, the sequence. Were you in class last week? Please, yes. Mm -hmm. Sure, so please sure, let continue. continue. Okay, it was all about the statements of the financial sure. position. Yeah, which we said that a statement is prepared to provide information about the financial sure? position. Sir, please, yes. I'm, I'm talking about last week, not last Tuesday. I'm talking about last week. So meaning what we did on Monday and Tuesday. Monday. Yes. You are not okay, okay then. Then sir, please. I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. 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 So, um, Agnes. 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 Okay, um, David. David. Okay, David, three substance. Um, Dennis, Kwame Kutu. Dennis, Kwame Kutu. Okay, Dennis, a substance. Eric, a Yes, sir. We talked about depreciation. Eric F. Say. Wow. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. This can you hear me? Yes. We talked about depreciation. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I said we talked about depreciation. Then we said yeah, we, we can have... hear you talk. We said we have two definitions of depreciation. The first one is allocation of cost of assets over eight years full time life, sorry. Then the other one is the reduction in the value of an asset. Okay, 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 uh, okay, okay. So you, you, let me, let me ask this question. So last week we discussed the definition of accounting, all right? And in the final accounting, um, um, we discuss the processes involved and under the processes, you are recording, collecting, whatever, whatever, analyzing and reporting, all right? And you got to know that at the reporting stage, we be preparing income statements and statement of financial position, all right? So I want to know the steps involved in preparing income statement. Um, um, um Henry Henry K. Henry K. What are the steps involved in preparing income statement? Okay. So <sighs> preparing income statements. I guess is you start with your sales. I want and, to know the steps, not the format, the steps involved. But can you do consistent? Mm -hmm. well, well, what I'm saying. Okay, so still yeah. then you check stuff, return in uh return <laughs> in word. In words, yeah. Then after you come to the cost of sales, the that's where your purchases, your carriage in words. You return out towards the opening stock is. So after you get your cost of sales, then you less it from the figure you go from the sales. Then you get your, is that, is that, 
wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I said I want uh -huh. that such is that the replacement of income statements are faced with God. Ah, uh, you thought okay, that you because I mean mm -hmm. this this is my first time here, so I'm just seeing what I know. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you very much. Tracy. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah, please. Um, you told us that there are three steps involved in preparing the income statements. Yeah. And the the first step is um to determine the main profits or gross profits. Mm -hmm. And then the second step is to determine the gross income. And then mm -hmm. the, third, the third step is to determine the net profit or loss. Hello. Yeah, continue. Yeah, I've said it. I said the first step is to determine the main profits or gross profits. So without one, you are determining the main revenue and then the main expense for step one. And then for step two, you are determining the gross income. And that one is the gross profits plus other income. Okay. And for step three, we are determining the net profits or loss. And with that one, we are using gross income minus operating expenses, which should give us the net profits. Very good, very good. So with the income statement, we first determine the gross profit, all right? And to so no gross profit, we have main revenue. And main revenue is sales minus um, return inward, all right? And then, we have main expense. Main expense is the same as cost of space, right? So I want to know the formula for or the format for cost of sales. Um Crispa Bell entry. Crispa Bell entry. Crispa Bell entry. Okay, Crispa Bell is also absent. Um then it's up here. Then it's up here. Okay. Then it's yes, please. Yes, please. I'm here. Um, Hello. Isaac, maybe. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, Venice. Yes, sir. Kindly take Please, us said, into the format for cost of sales. Were you here last week? Okay. Week? So, so, yes, please. Were you, did you join the class last week? Yes, please, I did. Did you join the class last week? Okay. Yes, please, I okay, was so in the take class. Take us through the format for cost of sales. Okay, yeah. so first you find your opening inventory, your opening inventory. Then after that, you find net purchases. And to find net purchases, it is the sum of purchases less returned outwards plus carriage inwards to give you your purchases. Then when you find your purchases, you less um you less drawings from your purchases. And when you less drawings from your purchases, you that answer will give you goods available for sale. Then when you get the goods available for sale, you list your closing inventory. Then when you list your closing inventory, that will lead you to get the cost of goods sold. And then you subtract it from your main revenue to get your gross profit or loss. Are you sure? Hello. After, after yeah, after the cost of goods sold, we added something. Not yet. Pardon? Mm. 
Venice. Oh, Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. You, 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 you okay, don't wait, I, I can hear you, please. Don't worry. Please can you hear me. Don't worry. Hello. I said the room was fine. Yes, please. Right. Yeah, please. Sir, after, after you get the cost of goods sold, you add your wages if in. Hello. Very good. So after cost of goods sold, we add wages add or any other trading expense. Right. We add wages or any other expense attributable to trade. Right. And we add up. We then get our cost of sales, right? So to know the gross profit, we have main revenue, which is the sales plus returning work, and then we left cost of sales, right? and that gives us a gross profit. And then our next step would be determine, um, determining um, the gross income. And if you want to know the gross income, you have your gross profit already, and you would add other income. Gross profit by other income would be gross income. The last step is to find your net profit or less. Unless you learn the operating expense from gross income. All right. Menis, please meet yourself. Okay. So that's that for income statement. And in the question of SOSP, we have non-current assets, all right? So, and, and non-current assets, you all know non-current assets are assets that would last in the frame beyond one year, all right? And as we use the asset beyond one year, the tangible ones and the good decision, right? So for, um, for non-current assets, we have costs, we less the decision and we get net good value, all right? That's for tangible non-current assets. And then, we add up the intangible ones, and that will give us total non-current assets. And the next thing to do is to find your working capital. So my question is, how do we determine working capital? How do we determine working capital? Current so, um, asset minus current liability. Okay, so if, if you want to know working capital, you have current assets minus current liabilities, all right? So when you get working capital, you add working capital to non-current assets. And when we add working capital to non-current assets, what do we get? Or how do we term that? Net assets. Very good, that's a net asset, all right? The net assets in the firm is financed by equity. So under equity, what and what do we have? Capital less drawing. Very good. So under equity, we have capital less drawing. And so what again? We have um revenue equity. less and you add you yeah. add you add net profit or loss. Please one person at a time, please. So you have capital less drawings, and then we add what? We add net net, net profit. profit or loss. Very good. Very good. And that will give us total equity. And when we get total equity, we then add non-current liabilities. And that will give us what? Capital Capital employed. Capital employed. All right. So that's that for replacing of final account. All right. So in the replacement of final account, the first thing to do is to analyze whatever you've recorded. All right. You analyze the recordings. You analyze the trial balance. All right, and after analyzing your recordings, you would have certain additional information. So, in the question of income statement, the first thing to do is to analyze and tackle the additional information. All right, so after analyzing the additional information, you can then prepare your income statement and SOFP. All right, so 
let's let's delve into the question. Um, I hope you all have the question. Yes, yes. Okay, so Tracy. Tracy, are you there? Yes, please, I'm here. Kindly, kindly read the question. So please know that whenever whenever you are reading an accounting question, the first thing to do is to read the title or the introduction. After reading the introduction, you skip the trial balance. All right, and then you start doing or you start um yeah, you start doing whatever you have in the additional information. So you read the introduction, you read additional information, you read requirements, and then we come to the trial balance, right? Yes. Yes, so, please. Can you take us through? Sure. Okay. So question one. Below is the trial balance of Ghana Dubai Enterprise as at 31st December. 2017. Additional information. A. So, on 30 so, uh, hold on. All right, so whatever we are about to do pertains to Ghana Dubai Enterprise. All right. So the title will be in the books of Ghana Dubai Enterprise. Okay. In the books of Ghana Dubai Enterprise. All right, kindly continue. A, on 3rd December 2017, Joycelyn decided that 1,000 CDs of the receivables balance should be written off as irrevocable, sorry, irrecoverable debts. Provision okay. for doubtful debts so should be adjusted on. upwards by. Hello, good. So, yeah. Um, on 30th. So on thirtieth December, the owner of the firm decided that thousand, thousand, thousand of the receivable balance to be written off. Kindly hold on. Let me let me take the lead. Okay. So with the first one, we we're told that on thirty first December, thousand cities of the receivable balance is to be written off. All right. So what does that mean? Okay, I'm a part man. Uh, sir, please, it's bad debt. That should be written on. Very good. So for A, we have I, bad debt of 1,000. All right. And we are told that the bad debt is to be written off out of the trade receivable balance. All right. Mm -hmm. So kindly tell me the trade receivables in the income statement. What is the figure for um, trade receivables in the income statement? 15,000. 15,000. Very good. All right. And they are telling us that out of this 15,000, we are to write 1,000 off. So now we have new, or let's say we have trade receivable balance. All right, that's the balance after writing the debt off. So new balance would be 15,000 minus 1,000, all right? And that'll give us how much? 14,000. 14,000, very good. All right, so, we, we had initially we had receivable of 15,000, right? After going through our record, we found it possible to write off 1,000 off, all right? So after writing off 1,000, we now have three receivable balance to be 14,000, all right? Okay, Tracy, can you? Okay, um, provision for doubtful debt is to be adjusted upwards by 200 cities. Very good. Provision for doubtful debt is to be adjusted upwards by 200 CDs, meaning we are to increase provision, all right? So we have increase in provision. And the figure is 200 CDs. Yeah. And how do we treat increase in provision? Is it treated as an income or an expense? An expense. Yes. 
expense. So this, figure, this figure is treated as an expense in the income statement, all right? And when we come here to the back debt here will be treated as an expense in the income statement. And we have increased in provision to 200, all right? Were we given initial provision in the trial balance? Yes, please. Yes, 500. We have initial provision. Initial provision to the 500, mm -hmm. all right? And they are telling us to increase this provision this initial provision by 200. So what will be the figure for new provision? 700. So we have increased by 200 and initial provision is 500. So new provision would be 700. Mm -hmm. All right. New provision would be 700. And this figure here is to be subtracted from Receivable balance. Receivable balance in the SOFP. All right. So we have pre receivable balance of 14,000. All right. And out of the 14,000, we are making provision for that total debt of 700. So our net receivables will be 14,000 minus the 700. Please help you out for Yes, yes, please. please. <clears throat> so, is that all for A? Yes, that's all for A. Very good. Sure. So, let's move to B. B. Electricity bill outstanding amounts to 500 CDs. Very good. Kindly hold on. So, now we have electricity bill. Outstanding or only. All right. So, electricity bill. And what's the amount, please? The director. What's the amount, please? 500. 500. Hello? Yeah. The electricity bill outstanding 500. Very good. We have electricity bill owing of 500. All right. And in the trial balance, we will see electricity bill paid. So electricity. Yeah. Bill paid. And what's the figure? 2,000 CD. 2,000. All right. So, what will be the figure for electricity bill in K? 2,000 plus 500. 2,500. Okay. So, we paid 2,000 and we owe 500. All right. So meaning we used electricity of 2,500. Okay, please continue reading. And a quarter of total electricity consumed relates to trading. A quarter of the total electricity consumed relates to trading. While insurance premium paid in advance. Okay. Please, please. Good. So it says we have owing of 500, all right? And we paid 2,000. So in all, we have electricity incurred of 2,500, all right? And out of the 2,500, one over four relates to trading, all right? So mm -hmm. now we have, we have um, electricity attributable to trading, right? So we have electricity. Electricity as part of cost of sales, right? And that would be one over four times 2,500. And what would be the figure? Six to five. Six to five. Pardon? Six, six to five. five. 125. All right. And the rest of electricity will be treated as an expense. So now we have electricity. As an expense. And what be the figure, please? So out of the 2,500, 625 would be added. 1,825. And the future as, as an expense would be 1,875. 1,875. All right. 
So this electricity owing is an expense owing, all right? And it's to be treated as current liability in the SOFP. All right. It's to be treated as current liability in the SOFP. And this amount here would go to or would form part of cost of sales. This amount here would, would form part of cost of sales. All right. That has to be added to cost of goods sold. And this amount here would form part of operating expenses. Right. So that's for BI. BI. And then we have BII. BII. Tracy, please, please take us through. While insurance premium paid in advance was 200 cities. So we have insurance. Repeat. Yeah, 200 cents. Oh. And what is the figure for insurance paid? 1,000 CDs. 1,000 CDs. So in the course of the year, over the whole year, no, in the course of the year, we paid 1,000 CDs, right? And after paying 1,000 CDs, we got to know that we've made payments in advance of 200. So what would be the figure for insurance in K? 800 CDs. Very good. So insurance in case for the year would be 800 CDs. 800 CDs. Please, is there any question? Can I continue? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Please, is there any question? No, please. Okay. All right, please see. Okay. So C, goods redrawn mm -hmm. for personal use by the owner amounted to 1,500 CDs. Good. So we have goods drawn. And the figure is? Um, 1,500 CDs. 1,500. All right. And we all know that goods drawings is to be subtracted from the summation of opening inventory and net purchase. All right. So this figure here would go to cost of sales. All right. And were we given initial drawings in the trial balance? Um, let's see. No. Please, no. I'm asking. Where we give you initial drawings? No. Are you sure? Where we give you initial drawings in the trial balance? No, please. No, please. No. Okay. Okay, so if there is no initial drawing, this 1,500 would also be treated as, so now our total drawings, total drawings would be zero plus 1,500. And that would give us 1,500, all right? So we subtract this figure from capital, all right? So to be subtracted, to be subtracted, from capital in the SOFP. To be subtracted from capital in the SOFP, all right? So under finance by, you have capital less drawings. Yes. So in the SOFP, we have our capital, then we less drawings of 1,500, right? Okay, please continue. D. Inventory at 31st December 2017 was valued at 70,000 CDs. So that's placing inventory. Yeah, placing inventory of 70,000 CDs, all right? And this amount here is to be sub. So we we'll go to IS, income statement, to be subtracted from cost of goods available for sale. 
All right. Yeah. So good income statement to be subtracted from cost of goods available for sale. And this same figure here would go to SOFP to be treated as current what? Hello. Current assets. Current assets. Current assets. Very good. Very good. All right. Tracy. Yes, please. E. Please continue. E. Depreciation is charged on cost mm. at the following rates. On fixtures and fittings, 5%. Okay, so we have, okay, continue. Should I continue? Hold on. So we have depreciation on fixtures and fittings. Hold on. So depreciation on fixtures and fittings is 5%. 5 on cost. So what is the cost? Fixtures and fittings, 10,000 CDs. 10,000. So what will be the figure for depreciation charge or depreciation expense for the year? Five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. Right, so this five hundred is depreciation expense. All right, and depreciation expense goes to income statement. All right, the 500 is depreciation expense and it will go to income statement. All right, please, were we given initial provision for depreciation? Or were we given provision for depreciation in the trial balance? No, please. No, please. No, please. No. So, initial accumulated depreciation is zero. Initial accumulated depreciation is zero. All right, so now new accumulated depreciation will be zero plus the 500, and that will give us 500. All right, so this 500 here will go to SOFP. All right. To be subtracted from to be subtracted from cost. All right, to be subtracted from okay, so to be subtracted from the cost of F and F. To be subtracted from the cost of an M, F and F. All right. So we have depreciation on fixtures and fittings to be 5% on cost. And 5%, you have the cost to be 10,000. So 5% on 10,000 give us 500. So meaning during the year, you consumed F and F with 500 cities, all right? And since we had no previous accumulated depreciation, our new accumulated depreciation will be zero plus 500. And that will give us 500, all right? So this 500 will be treated as an expense in the income statement, and this 500 is to be subtracted from the cost in the SOFP. Okay, so that's EI. So EII, Tracy. Yeah, and motor vehicles 10%. 10, 10 Very good. So we have depreciation on motor vehicle, that's MV. So 10%. And you have the cost to be 30,000, right? Yeah. What is the cost of motor vehicle? 30,000. Hello? Yes, the cost of motor vehicles is 30,000. What is the cost of motor vehicle? 30,000. So we have ten percent of thirty thousand, and that will give us the decision of three thousand. All right, so this amount is depreciation expense, and it will go to the income statement. 
Were we given initial accumulated depreciation on motor vehicle? No. Okay, so initial accumulated depreciation is zero. So now new accumulated depreciation will be how much? It will be zero plus the 3,000. Right. And that will give us 3,000. All right. And this figure here. of motor vehicle to be subtracted from the cost of motor vehicle. To be subtracted from the cost of motor vehicle. All right. Um, Tracy, please continue. Okay. You are required to prepare the income statements for the business for the year in the 31st December, 2017, and the statement Very of financial good. position as a... Very good. So we have to prepare I income statement and II statement of financial position. We have to prepare income statement and SOFP, right? So let's start with income statement. So we have income statement for the year ended 31st December 2018. We have income statement for the year ended 31st December 2018. All right. Then we have our currency sign here. One, two, three. All right. So as you all know the steps involved in preparing income statement. All right. So our first item would be sales. So we have sales. And what's our sales figure? One fifty thousand and fifty cities. One fifty thousand and fifty. One fifty thousand and fifty. Right. So we have sales and then we less return inward. So this was the figure for return inward. What's the figure for return inward? Two fifty. Two fifty. So when you less return the word from sales, you shall have net sales. What will be the figure for net sales, please? 149,800. Very good. All right. So this 149,800 is our main revenue. This figure is our main revenue. All right, and then less main expense, that's cost of sales. And the cost of sales, we have opening inventory. Opening inventory? What's the figure for opening inventory? 60,000. 60,000. 60, 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. 60. Okay, so you have 60,000. All right, and then we add net purchases, right? And as the net purchases, we have purchases. What's the figure for purchases, please? 80,000. 80, 80,000, right? Were we given figure for carriage in word? No, please. Do we have figure for return out word? Yes. 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 Well, yes. Return outward. And what's the figure, please? 200. 200. 200. So when less return outward from purchases, now we have our net purchases. 
and that gives us 79,800. All right, so we have um, we have opening inventory, we add net purchases, and then we less what goods drawing. Please, what's the figure for goods drawing? One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred, and we have this plus this minus that, and that that will give us cost of goods available for sale. What will be the figure for cost of goods available for sale? Five hundred and thirty eight thousand three hundred. One thirty eight. Three hundred. All right. And when you get your cost of sales, you can now subtract for less closing inventory. Oh. For less. That's a gift of God. I'm fine. I can't tell you my. Inventory. It was not going to be less crazy. Inventory. So I told you. 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 So what will be the figure for cost of goods sold? Say sixty-eight thousand. Yes. Is they said eight thousand three hundred. Three hundred. Very good. Sixty-eight thousand three hundred. All right. Then we add electricity. All right. Because we have electricity. Actually, mm -hmm. to treat. And what is the figure, please? Six two five. Six two five. Six two five. Very good. So now, what will be the figure for cost of sales? Sixty eight thousand nine hundred and twenty. Sixty eight thousand nine hundred and twenty five. Only less from main revenue. What do you get? Please, you get 80,875. 80,875 as a gross profit. profit. Mm. And the next thing to do is to determine your debt income. All right, so we add other income. Please, were we giving other income the travel balance? Yes. yes. Do you have any other income in the camera? Okay, okay, so yes. Yes, discount. please. Okay, so yeah, discount discount received. Thousand. The figure is thousand. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other? No, no. Oh, that, okay. That's all. Okay, so uh, we have got income. Now, gross income is eight. Eight one eight thousand eight hundred and seventy five. Very good. All right, and then unless now, unless operating expense. You can less operating expenses. So, can you list the operating expenses for me? Advertising. Good. Advertising. And what is that? Um, thousand. 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 Okay. What again? Gross. Thousand. Pardon? Salary. Uh -huh. Salary. Salary. Okay. What is the figure for salaries? Forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand. And what again? 
Rates, Hello, so we have advertising, we have salaries, and what comes next? Rates. Rates. And what's the figure, please? Thousand. Thousand. Okay. And what's next? General expense. After rates, what do we have? The electricity. Hello, sir. Being after the we have insurance before insurance. there is insurance, yes. And what's the figure, please? Thousand cities. What's the figure for insurance? Thousand. Thousand. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. What's the figure? Eight hundred. Okay. What's next? Okay. What's next? Hello. Electricity. Ah, are there are there Said discounts the allowed? Please, please hold on. Discounts okay, allowed. Okay, okay, hold on, please hold on. Um, um and hold on. Let me mention this. Um Frida Anna. Frida. Frida Anna. Okay, Frida is absent. Hello. 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 Hello, say. Hi everyone, I'm um, please share it out of the loop.
Hello, can you hear me, please? Yes, please, can I hear you. Okay, okay. Um, let's be calm, okay? So it's having a next day challenge. So um, he's trying to join the class. So let's keep calm. My daddy let you come for a call, Okay, he says, you know, Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah. Sir. yeah. Um, please, let's continue. Okay. All right. So, under operating expense, under operating expense, we have advertising, we have salaries, we have rates, we have insurance. What next, please? What again? Discount allowed. Discount allowed. Mm, discount allowed. And what's the figure? Thousand. 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 This count received is thousand and this count allowed to is thousand. No, Wait. no, no this, this count allowed is thousand. thousand. This count received is two thousand. Daddy, please, the discount allowed is two thousand. Allowed is two thousand and they received the thousand. Some, some are saying this count allowed is thousand, some are saying it's two thousand. Please, it's 2,000. This count allowed has a debit. allowed is 2,000. It's 2,000. Very good. So this count allowed is 2,000. Okay. Please continue. What's next? General expense. General expense. And what is the figure? Two thousand. Two thousand. Is it two thousand? Yes. Yes, it's two thousand. Two thousand. Mm -hmm. What's next? You have electricity. 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 And what's the figure? Thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. Thousand. Yesterday, two thousand. Who say two thousand? Hmm. Please, what's next? Depreciation. Okay, so before depreciation, don't forget we we wrote part of the receivable balance. Of, so we have bad debt. Written off. Thousand. Uh, of how much? Thousand, right? Thousand, and we have yeah. increase in what? Provision. Increase in provision. Provision. I'm not sure. Well, the amount of how much? Two hundred. Okay. Please, is that all? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So now That's we have all. depreciation. We have depreciation on F and F, and the figure is five hundred. We have depreciation. <laughs> On motor vehicle, motor which is like 3,000. So, you know, yeah, it's not 3,500. All right. So, 
kindly sum up the expenses and let's see the total. So the expenses we have advertising, which is thousand. We have salaries of four thousand five hundred. We have um, rates of thousand. Insurance eight hundred. Discount allowed two thousand. General expense two thousand. Electricity one eight seven five. Bad debt thousand. Increase in provision mm -hmm. two hundred. Depreciation three thousand five hundred. So what's the total? Please, the total is fifty-eight thousand three hundred and seventy-five. Fifty-eight thousand three hundred and seventy-five. Very good. All right. So we less this figure from our gross income. So less this sir, from gross income. Yes. Sir, please say a question. Sure. Okay, sir. Please, we didn't add the bad debts. Oh. We added. Oh, we okay. added it. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. So the next. So, mm -hmm. Net profit. Twenty-three Twenty-three thousand five hundred. Twenty-three thousand five hundred. Twenty-three thousand five hundred. Okay. All right. So we yeah, have that's that for income statement, all right? And we are required to prepare income statement and SOSP. So after prepare, right after preparing income statement, it starts with your SOFP as at 31st December 28. 27. 27. Yeah. Okay. 2017. So here too, it's supposed to be 2017. All right. What if you, you get a date wrong? Pardon? What if Please, it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter what matters most is to get the next profit and then you get your asset equals equity plus liabilities. That's all. Okay. Mm. But how would you get the date wrong? <laughs> <laughs> please, please let's proceed. So under FOFP, we have non-current assets. assets, all right? And we have cost. Next book value. Next book value. Okay. So we have cost accumulated depreciation net book value. We have our currency signed here. All right. And under non-current assets, we have fixtures. Building. OK, OK, so building comes first. We have building. We have building. And what's the cost? 120,000. OK, yeah. no duplication. So net book value would be 120,000. Right, we have F and F. 10,000. 10,000. The position is 500 okay. and net book value will be 9,000. Hello, say. Yes. Please, can you move the camera to the other page? I have. I'm not saying it's just so good. I didn't see what you were right. Hello. Hi. Uh, someone is on the floor. Hello. There was a lady talking. Hello. Okay. If she's not there, let's continue. So we I have said, building. Um, uh -huh. Sorry, the fixtures and fit, fittings, 10,000 minus 500, it gives us 9,500. 
good. And the next one is motor vehicle. Motor right? vehicle. So yeah. motor vehicle, yeah, eighty thousand, and the depreciation is three thousand. Yeah. So net book value is twenty seven thousand. All right. Please, is there any other non current asset? No. Okay, so when you come up, you get total no non current asset. asset. And what's the figure? Hundred and sixty five hundred. One five what? One five six five hundred. All right, so we have total current assets. And the next thing to do is to add your working capital and to know working capital, current assets, less current liabilities. All right, so under current assets, we have inventory. And what's the figure for inventory? 70,000. 70,000. And then we have receivables. It's before the receivables. We have bank. Okay. Hmm. What's the figure for receivables? Um, 15,000. 15, <laughs> The figure for the silver. Uh, 15,000, right? So I, but after we uh, less bad debts and then the provision. What is the figure for receivables? I want to know the trade receivable uh, balance. 15, the new receivable, pardon? The new one. 15,000. Who is saying 15,000? Sir, please, it's 13,300. The new receivable balance. Yes, 13,300. The new receivable balance. Wow. We have 14,000. And we wrote 1,000 off. So receivable balance would therefore be 14,000. 14, all right, and then we less, uh, less provision for that for debt of um, 700, and that will give us 13,000. All right, so we have inventory, we have receivables, and um, revenue owing. Were we giving revenue owing? No. Okay, so if there's no revenue, we move to expense prepaid. Is there any expense prepaid? Insurance prepaid. Good. Good. So we have insurance prepaid. And the figure is 200. 200. 200, right? Yes. After especially pay the out. Bank. Bank said it's bank. Do we have, please answer my question. Do were we giving a figure for short-term investments? Yes or no? No. 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 Okay, so now we move to Casas Bank. And what's the figure for cash at bank? 8,500. 8,500. Were we giving figure for cash in hand? No. No. Okay. So now we have total current asset. So kindly sum them up for me. This plus this plus this plus that. 92,000. 2,000. Two thousand, all right, and then we less current liabilities. 
and the current liabilities we have paid payables. Please put the figure for paid payables. 40,000. 40, and then we have electricity. Outstanding. Owing or outstanding. Right. What's the figure? 500. 500. 500. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So when you sum up, we have 4,000, 40,000. 500. Right. Very good. So we less current liabilities from current assets. And that'll give us working capital. Capital. What will be the figure for working capital? 51,500. 51,500. And working capital is to be added to your current assets, right? Working capital will come to the third column. So we have 51,000. Right. When you add working capital to net non current assets, you get net assets, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have our currency signs. And then we have our net assets. So we have total non current assets to be 156,500, and we have working capital to be 51,500. What will be the figure for? Um, net assets 208,000. 208,000. Yeah, yes, all right. So that's the figure for net assets. And the net assets in the frame are financed by financed by capital. And what is the figure for capital? 86,000. 86,000. 86,000. Less drawings. And drawings, we have 1,500. All right. When we less, we get owners equity. And what was the figure? 84,500. And then we add the next. Profits so that's friends equity and net profits. You have the figure to be 23,500. So, what will be the figure for equity? Mm -hmm. and, uh, so we have equity plus two plus non current liabilities. Now, the non current liabilities, they are bank loan. Bank loan. Please, what's the figure for bank loan? 100,000. 100,000. Mm -hmm. When you sum up, we have capital employed at how much? Two zero eight thousand. Two zero eight thousand. Right. The next assets in the firm are financed by capital employed. Right. That's why the figure of the next asset is the same as that of capital employed. Please, is there any question? No, I'm gonna you. Is there any question? And then look for my bed of comely, may work one, may do one, eh? Come on, go there, the comely. Mata, Mata, you are in class. Very good. I'm sorry. Sure, no worries. Please, is there any question? Hello. So come on the next the other page. I okay. want to see something.
Is it okay now? Yes, sir. thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Um, please, do you have questions for me? Um, sir, please, can you put it on the next page? Next. Okay. The next, yes, the next page. Where the list runs here, thank you. Yeah. Please doesn't mean that if we were given um drawings in the trial balance, we have added it to the drawings from the additional information to get mm -hmm. yes, less to get drawings without, like in the SOFP. Yes, to get without drawings, yeah. Okay, if so you are not given if, you just mm -hmm. use the drawings for that. If you are not given please, please listen. If you are not giving drawings in trial balance, it means the initial drawing figure will be zero, all right? And if you want to know the current drawings, if you want to know the new drawing figure, you add the current to initial. The current is um, 1,500, initial is zero. So you add that, you get 1,500. Okay. Hello, sir. sir. Yes. Please, can you go back to the income statement um, the working we did over there, I want to see when you go to the uh, other trading experience, I want to see what you did there. Is it okay now? Yes, please. So okay. the cross conference. Cross conference was six, eight, nine, two, five, three, eight, seven. Sir. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and please yes. with the provision for doubt for the um under the income statement, what amounts is it the 700 I'll go to that side or the new the one in the trial okay. additional information? Okay. You, let me ask you which one do we record in the income statement? Um total expenses paid. Were you in is. class last were you in class last week? No, I watched a, no. the recorded video for one. And mm -hmm. and and um, how did we treat um um provision for doubtful debt when we uh, or when we were watching the recording? How did we treat the provision for doubtful debt? How was it treated in the recording? Um, I don't know. Did, did you write? I don't remember we treating that. Did you? Did you write? Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you wrote yes. notes. Okay. And. Um, wow. Sir, and please, can you go over from the front? Sir, please question. Oh, sir, please okay. have a question. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh -huh. so the, okay, we record an um, increase in provision. Uh -huh. Right, so. Uh -huh. so okay. you, you report yeah. that increase or increase in income system. All right. And the final one is okay. All right. Okay. Um, sir, please. You go from the um, final. From that end, please can you go over from the finance by that area yeah. after the working yeah. capital, the net assets finance by that area coming down? Yeah. Please, I'm uh -huh. having a bit of difficulty. How? 
Oh, okay. Hello. Sorry, it seems I didn't see the val um, the figures well. So I was having a bit of difficulty understanding. I I've rectified that. Thank you. Hello, sir. Please, is there any other question? Sir, please. People have left your challenge. So they want to check your chat. They want to check what? Your chat. They, they sent their questions to your chat. To my chat. Yeah, yes, please. Ah, it's to everyone, so um um okay. Who is saying we should interchange the sales and purchases bank and figures? We have sales figure to be one five zero zero five zero and purchases is um eighty thousand. Please note that. Please know that whenever you are doing balances, balances, and the credit side records items with credit balances, uh, and whatever the account balance with five elements. All right, so in the income statement, sorry, I get to see them. Uncle Mark, we have revenue. Six to grow. So in the account balance, we have revenue, we have expense, we have um, capital, we have liability. And what again? Assets. Hello. Very good. We have assets. And um, we can add up drawings. Okay, so, so now it has been increased. So we have drawings. We have um, provisions. Assets. All right. So we have. We have revenue, expense, capital, liabilities, assets, drawings, and services. All right. And kindly note that revenue has a credit balance. All right. Revenue has a credit balance. It has a credit balance because it causes it causes increase in assets. All right. An increase in assets will demand us to debit the assets accounts. All right. So whenever you have revenue, please note that revenue will be at the credit side. Revenue will be at the credit side. And under revenue, you have main revenue, you have other revenue, or main revenue and other income. So you have revenue, and revenue will be at the credit side. You have expense. Expense would cause decrease in the asset. So expense will be at the debit side. Mm -hmm. Revenue, credit, expense, debit. Revenue, credit, expense, debit. All right. <clears throat> and then we have capital. Capital will cause increase in assets. So capital, credit. Capital um, has a credit balance. Liabilities. Liabilities would cause increase in assets. So liabilities to credit balance. All right. And asset itself has a debit balance. Mm -hmm. Drawings would cause decrease in capital. Drawings would cause decrease in capital. So drawings would have a debit balance. All right. And provisions cause decrease in assets. All right. Provisions cause decrease in assets. Provisions would have a credit balance. So whenever you have provision for depreciation, provision for depreciation causes decrease in the value of the asset. All right. Provision for doubtful debt causes decrease in the value of receivables. So provisions have the credit balances. So in the trial balance, revenue, um, in the trial balance, at the credit side, you have revenue. We have capital, we have liabilities, and provisions. Right? And 
On the debit side, you have expense, assets, and drawings. Sir. <clears throat> yes. Sir. And please, what yes. about when you, have, when you have return inwards and return outwards in the trial balance? Which one position okay. like Very good. Right side, return and then carried inwards and carried outwards? Carriage inward and carriage outwards are expensive. Outwards, yes. They are expensive. Okay. Uh, and expenses are here. Okay. okay. And then, so for return inward, return inward causes decrease in revenue. All right. Revenue has a credit balance. So if you have something causing decrease in revenue, it will have a debit balance. All right. So return inward has debit balance. <clears throat> return outward causes decrease in expense, all right, or less it causes decrease in purchases. Purchases have debit balance, so return outward will have a credit balance. Thank you. All right, so on the credit side, you have revenue, you have capital, you have liabilities. Provisions and return outward. And for the debit last... side, yeah, asset, returning what drawings. Uh -huh. Please, is there any other question? Yeah, and also with the net book value and then accumulated, uh, sometimes it's put together. Oh. I said accumulated like... depreciation is the same as provision for depreciation. All right, accumulated okay. depreciation is the same as provision for depreciation. Okay. So please, the carriage in what the out. They are expenses. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Any other question? Please, is there any other question? Please add a question. Hello. Hello. Kumiwa entry. Entry Kumiwa. Yes, please. Please talk. Please, um, you said provision for that food that has um, a credit balance because it's reducing the debtor's figure, but then bad yes. debt has a debit balance, even though it's also reducing the debtor's uh -huh. figure. And the debtor's figure, how come? With is the provision for doubtful debt, it's doubtful debt, it's an uncertain debt, right? So meaning it's not 100% receivable, all right? But for bad debt, you see, with provision for that for the debt, we are the one providing, you are the one setting um, some part or some section of our profit aside to cater for that for debt, all right? But with bad debt, we know that the customers will not be able to pay at all. So we treat bad debt as an expense, but with provision, you have certain some of our monies aside to cater for doubtful debt. Do you get me? Yes, please. Good. So in case we have bad debt, we use that provision to set that amount off. Okay. Good. So is there any other question? Um, 
um, so does that mean provision for bad debts and provision for doubtful debts are treated the same way? We don't have provision for bad debt. It's provision for doubtful debt. Hmm. I thought I saw that. I saw it's, that somewhere. Okay, thanks. Welcome. Please, is there another question? Okay, so um, if there is no question, I'll post an assignment to your platform. And please make sure you solve this same question on your own. All right, you solve the question on your own and then you solve the assignment I'll post on the platform as well. And in case you encounter any difficulty, you contact me, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, very please. good. So thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you too, sir. Bye. Bye.